Okay, guys, this video is going to be about obviously Skyrim, but for those who have never played Oblivion and don't know that much about Skyrim, so I'm going to tell you roughly, well, a short intro in what there is to do in the game, um, what features there is, uh, and all the different things. Like if you want, don't want to do the main story quest, then basically you can do whatever you want. So, first off, your character. I've chose a high elf. Uh, obviously, in my other videos, I was an orc because I was being pure tank role playing. But this time, I decided to be uh, a pure mage because I think magic in this game is up. Obviously, with your characters, most people try and design them after themselves. Obviously, I've done the same thing. Okay, so this guy looks spitting image of me. See my face. A few cuts on my face from the dragon. So a hardcore warrior. So yeah, so I base my guy exactly on me. Set the skin difference. <laughs> right. So in this game, if you can basically do whatever you want. If you do not want to do the main story quest, there is a thousand other things you can do. You can join these guilds. You can be an assassin, part of the assassin guild, which is called the Dark Brotherhood. You can become a, a great crafter and craft all the armors. Or you can just go around, you can actually be a werewolf in this city I'm at right now. And uh, But you've got to do certain quests with the guys called the Companions. Okay, then you get the option to become a werewolf. But I refused it. Right, more or less, this game is as pure as open world can be for a single player. Everywhere you see, you can get to. Every single place. So if you see anything over the distance, you can be him. I'm going to get dressed because obviously people are going to start thinking I'm a bit of a strange guy. But you can't, my recommendation is to get the main quest out of the way and then concentrate on all the fun uh, side quests there are. And when I say side quests, some of them are absolutely massive. If you're going to try and do all the quests for a guild, Obviously, saying Thieves Guild or something, it'll take practically all day to do it. Right. So, finish off from that. Skill system. How you level your character up. It's not by experience points. It's not by harder, th harder thing you kill, you get blah, blah, blah experiences. Whatever you use, you level up. So, if I want to level Great Sword, I'll use a Great Sword. It's how many times I hit something with it, it will level up more. Okay, daggers is classed as uh, one-handed weapons, obviously. One-handed weapon, one-handed sword. You can get axes, uh, maces, and swords. That's your three weapon types. So everything has a instant kill. So get to the enemy to about 30%. You'll do some kind of killing kill hit. Uh, they all have their own. They all have a couple each. Uh, with the light armors, this is light armor. This is pure elven. Obviously, I'm high elf. So, yeah. I think it looks cool as fuck. Right. For me, magic is what it's all about in this game. You can have a spell. You can have two different spells in two different hands. So, you can have the same spell. Okay, there's f fire, there's lightning, and there's ice. So, you can either blast either thing separately, or you can do them together to create one jewel. Obviously, blast. My magic's quite weak because I've only just re-rolled yesterday. See, frozen on the wall. It'll stay there. It'll stay there for quite some time, actually. Which I think is quite a nice effect, even when the enemy players do it, enemy mobs. Right. So, that's the basic magic. Healing. Ju dual heal. Single heal. Obviously, the dual go heal's a lot stronger. Have a look at the skills. Right, I've leveled up, obviously. Okay, all the skills is in like star signs, astronomy, so forth. Get a bit of health. Okay, so what we're going to move on to is my two-hander, which I've chosen, which I can't find. There we go. Okay, one extremely entertaining feature about this game is the chance of decapitating your enemies. So, I'm going to get this. 
and we're gonna find some people and cut their heads off. See, as you can see here, if you've never seen the leveling system in Skyrim, it's whatever you're using or whatever you're wearing, your level. If you're wearing heavy armor, you'll level heavy armor. See, if you're blocking with a shield only, you level block. Most of it's self-explanatory. Sneak in, lock picking, pickpocketing, speech, alchemy, illusion, conjuration, destruction, which I'm trying to work on as my mage. Obviously, doing a fantastic job. Uh, restoration. That's all your healing spells, alteration, enchanting, smithing. Two ways of smithing is a uh, first you start at basics, uh, steel smithing. Then you can either go two ways. Right is heavy armor, left is light armor. Okay, going with light because I'm a high elf and trying to be the mage. So I'm going elven. Then, of course, onto the advanced part. Then into glass, which looks so, so cool. So with my orc beforehand, before I re-rolled, I, I was going heavy armor. Obviously, I got all the way up to a dragon, so you got your dwarven, you got your orc, you got your ebony, and daedric, which are like some super cool beings, and dragon. Okay, dragon is uh, the top end of either way, as you can see, glass there, daedric there. I'll tell you about the pros and cons about armors later on. Okay, let's go find some people and I'll show you some decaps. Okay, let's try and decap some motherfuckers. See these guys being pussies? Boom! There you go. Smooth. Okay, let's see if we give him a bit of a taster. Oh, beast. On fire as well, epic. Okay, you see the fire's quite full on. He doesn't seem to work well against this guy. Okay, cutting my own up. As you see there, I can do two things at once. I can heal and I can blast magic. I can do diff two different spells. Obviously, you enjoyed that. Okay, obviously, this game's trying to base it as real as it comes. So, you do receive fall damage, and if you do fall far enough, you insta die. So, you're breaking your legs and so forth. So, I'm going to quick demo of what to do if you're really depressed in your life and can't be asked to do any more quests. Just quickly jump off all the way. And. The paper doll roll into the water, carried off. <laughs> nice and easy. There we go. He's throwing his voice. <laughs> there he is. Alduin Thuri. How cool is that? My magic doesn't fire far enough to hit him, so I gotta keep waiting for him to get to the ground. So hopefully he'll come down soon. Shout. Put him off 
a bit. Easy way to do it. Hit him a few times. Do your shout. And back into melee. Down, please. Thank you very much. Give me your soul. Thank you very much. Okay, I've turned the quality down in my recording so it's smooth to play whilst recording. Obviously, in-game graphics are far better than what you are seeing in the video. So we're going to finish off the last few minutes with uh, just going around a crypt uh, where zombies are because uh, it's actually like, it's meant to be a mine and you can't go in there because it's infested. So, because I am so awesomely epic, I'm going to go hunt, hunt them down and. Uh, Smash my sword right between their eyes. Okay, he. Wow, he's like the main lord. I do my dragon shout. Knock him into the wall. There you are, try and take him out as quick as I can before he gets up. Okay, he's gonna probably hit me for a shitload of damage. Yeah. Run, run, run. Heal. I'm going like super slow. There you are. The hell is firing at me? Okay. Try to burn him. It's not working. Slow him down a bit. Jesus, man. Okay, let's see if we can kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nope, not a chance, man. Okay, run away. See the best way to play this game, just do it on Adept, like medium style, there's like five different uh, difficulties. There's no point in playing it on an easy mode because it just ruins the game. You need a bit of a challenge. So let's so fuck this guy up. So your dragon shout is extremely cool. So you got like five things in front of you, you can just blast them all. Oh my god, why does he keep healing? There you go. Dead. So, take all this stuff. Cut the heal. See, chest. You'll see a thousand chests. Dwarven gauntlets. Obviously, that's uh, heavy armor, which I'm not gonna wear. But I'll take them to sell. Always auto save just in case you do something or kill someone by mistake. Anyone you kill, you can kill everyone in the game. Literally everyone in the village, a town, and then basically you're fucked because uh, you probably need quests off them and stuff like that. So I advise to play the good guy and keep everyone alive unless they need to be killed because uh, it's good doing all the quests later on. You'll see everything's around, you probably don't know what it's for or how it's used, and now do I with half the things. I've not actually finished the game because I like just power leveled my orc and just did all the those are like side quests and did like none of the storyline so this time I'm just going through the main storyline itself okay but this is Drang King uh, the famous dark ball player should everybody should know me and uh, bow down to my awesomeness if not check out my videos on uh, YouTube subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah if you do like the skilling system on this, you should try out Dark Ball itself because it's like the ultimate uh, skill based game itself. And it's the MMO of the future, hopefully. Okay, so I'll see you guys later for my next video.